A heart attack is also known as a myocardial infarction and it occurs when there's a blockage in the blood supply to a portion of the heart muscle. This blockage typically results from the formation of a blood clot within one of the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries are the blood vessels that are responsible for supplying oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. The pathophysiology of a heart attack involves a series of events that lead to a reduction or complete cessation of the blood flow, resulting in tissue damage and potentially severe consequences. Here's a step-by-step -step explanation of the pathophysiology of a heart attack. Number 1. Atherosclerosis The underlying cause of most of the heart attacks is atherosclerosis, a condition where fatty deposits called plaques build up on the inner walls of the coronary arteries. And when these plaques build up in the inner wall, these plaques can narrow down the arteries, reducing the blood flow and making them more susceptible to rupture. Number 2. Plaque ruptures Plaques can become unstable and rupture due to inflammation, high blood pressure or other factors. So when the plaques rupture, the contents inside the plaque, which includes cholesterol, platelets and other substances, are exposed to the bloodstream. And this is highly thrombogenic. Number 3. Formation of the blood clot In response to the plaque rupture, the body's natural clotting mechanism is activated. Platelets in the blood start to aggregate at this site of rupture, forming a blood clot or a thrombus. So this clot can partially or completely block the artery. Number 4. Reduction in the blood flow As the blood clot is growing, it can significantly reduce or completely block the blood flow through the coronary artery. So this reduction in blood flow deprives the heart muscle the necessary oxygen and nutrients. Number 5. Ischemia the lack of oxygen and nutrients leads to a condition called ischemia in that affected part of the heart. Ischemia causes chest pain or angina, which is usually experienced as a crushing or squeezing sensation in the heart. This pain might also radiate to the left arm, jaw or back. Number 6. Cellular damage and necrosis If the blood flow is not restored promptly, the heart muscle cells begin to suffer irreversible damage due to the lack of oxygen. This can eventually lead to cell death in a process called necrosis. Number 7. Inflammatory response The cell death triggers an inflammatory response as the body's immune system tries to remove the dead tissue. This process further contributes to the damage and can weaken the heart muscle. Number 8. Complications Depending on the location and the extent of the damage, a heart attack can lead to various complications and that includes arrhythmias, that is abnormal heart rhythms, heart failures, and even sudden cardiac death. Treatment for a heart attack involves quickly restoring the blood flow to the blocked artery to minimize damage to that muscle. So this is typically done through procedures like angioplasty and stent replacement or through the administration of clot-busting medications. The choice of treatment depends on the factors such as patient's condition, the location of the blockage, and the timing of intervention. Early recognition of heart attack symptoms and seeking prompt medical attention are crucial for improving outcomes. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you did, please hit the like button and comment your ideas. And subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.